Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you my foundation routine. Let's get started. I am starting off by applying this primer. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Dark Spot Correcting. I find that primer doesn't really do much for my makeup. I just like to use it because it helps my foundation go on smoother. I went ahead and did my eye makeup just to make sure that everything is set and ready to go. Today I'm going to be using the Benefit Erase Paste and dab that under my eyes. I take my Art Wet Beauty Blender and blend this out. I think the Beauty Blender does the best job at blending anything on my face. I go in with my foundation and today I'm using the Makeup Forever HD foundation and this is one of my favorite foundations of all time. And I just put some on the back of my hand and dab some on my face and I blend it with my finger a little bit and I take my beauty blender and just dab. I switch up my foundations pretty much every day. It just depends on what I feel like wearing. I love the Beauty Blender for blending out my foundation as well because it's so much better than using brushes because with the Beauty Blender, I wash this every single time before I use it. And with brushes, who really has time to wash brushes every single time you use it. I mean, that's the only way that you can possibly put clean stuff on your face for foundation. I'm gonna run it underwater anyways before I put it on my face, so might as well just wash it. And I love using the blender cleanser with it because that just, that is the best thing to remove all these stains. A little bit extra layer of where I think I need more coverage. I'm just do my eyebrows real quick. To conceal spots on my face, I love using the NARS Creamy Concealer. Go over areas where I want concealed. My skin has been really good lately, so I don't really have a lot to cover up. I'm using Smashbox Bronze Light Sun Tan Matte. This is pretty much the only bronzer I've been using. Because I really think that bronzer is bronzer. They all give the same effect, pretty much. So, I just use this one to contour my face and give it a little bit more color. I'm using High Beam by Benefit to highlight my cheekbones. Today I'm going to be using the MAC Blush in Peaches. I love the Real Techniques blush brush. It's not as intense as a coral, I think. It's more wearable. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I am just going to do a little close up here so you can see how it looks and how well it covered and all that good stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you at least learned some new tips and tricks to incorporate in your own foundation routine. Don't forget to Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day.